Hello friend, welcome to the channel Pharmacy Dictionary. In today's topic, we are going to study about a simple yet very important word and that is agonist, their basic concept with representative example and demonstration. First of all, have we tried ever to understand the meaning of agonist? What is agonist? Simply anything, any signal molecule, any drug which will act as a physiological ligand that is simply known as an agonist. Let me explain you in a simple way. Suppose I am a teacher of pharmacology. My job is to teach pharmacology for my student. In some days, I am not available on the classes. So I have to engage anyone of pharmacology teacher so that he will or she will take my classes in place of mine. So he or she will do as same as I were used to do. That means she or he will replace me and the activity will be the same. That means teaching of pharmacology concept, completion of that particular topic will result into a same. So that particular person, he or she will be considered as an agonist for myself. So agonists are those agents which produce same biological response as any main signal molecule or main ligand molecule would have producing. This is concept of ligand molecule and single molecule and agonist molecule. Let me explain you a few basic concepts before going to the topic. The first one say drug. You know it very well what is the meaning of drug? Any agent, any chemical agent which is either used for diagnosis, prevention or treatment of any disease or any disorder is simply considered as a drug. Now second word is receptor. What is the meaning of receptor? This is not exactly classes of receptor. Just I am going to explain you the simple meaning of this term. We have to see the receptor in a complete way. So any molecule or any macromolecule I would say which is available either on the surface of cell or inside the cell and it is used to perform a recognition to the signal molecule or drug molecule so that it will produce a biological or pharmacological response that is simply known as a receptor. According to their availability, it may be either available on the surface or inside the cell. So that is a different classification of receptor and that is a topic of next next unit. So what is these two things? Whenever any drug combined with the respective receptor, there only there is a formation of drug receptor complex and then only they will produce their desirable or biological or pharmacological activity. In this equation, drug plus receptor is equal to drug receptor complex. As you can see, a alone drug cannot produce any of the activity, neither desirable nor undesirable. An unoccupied or empty receptor is of no use of us. That will not any able that will not able to produce any kind of a response, any kind of effect. So, what is the important necessity for this case? There should be presence of drug and receptor so that only complex formation may be accomplished. Let me explain you the simplest example with the log and Q theory, which you have been already studied in your 10th or 12th class. This is log. Suppose I am going to log this. This is log and this is key. I will throw this key out. So is this log useful for you? Will you purchase it? I just, the first for example, I have purchased is worth rupees 100. And now what is, what will the value of this log without key? No one going to purchase this. And likewise, if I will throw this log and only I have a key, what is the value of this key? No one going to purchase or no one going, going to use this kind of key. So the importance of these two goods are only when they are in together. They are in simultaneously available with any person. So in this case, this is working as a a receptor and this is working that means key is working as a ligand or in case of today's topic it is working as a agonist so then whenever this is a binding site receptor means generally a binding site recognizing site that's it so whenever any signal molecule whenever any ligand molecule or whenever uh, agonist comes toward the receptor binding site that will occupy this place then will they will form a drug receptor complex then only their biological activity will be accomplished and we will have any pharmacological or desirable or sometimes undesirable activity too. So this is basic equation regarding the agonist concept. Later on video, we will see about the antagonists, their competitive antagonists and non-competitive antagonists too. So let's move further. What is the meaning of agonist? Which support or favor the action of ligand or signal is called agonist. In our body, there are so many natural chemicals available like acetylcholine, norepinephrine, etc, etc. These all are working very fine if we are healthy. All these are getting occupied with their respective receptor, producing their biological response. In how, in some case, if there is a lack or absence of that particular chemical or signal molecule, that particular assigned work will be hampered. And to make a proper balance and make the condition normal like earlier, we have to produce that same 
effect and that effect can be produced by giving a drug so that drug is working as a agonist for that chemical substance which is now not available or not available in a sufficient quantity so any agent that will replace or support or favor that condition of the real one that is signal or ligand molecule is simply considered as a ligand molecule as i have given you the example of myself that my my classes will be engaged by someone as who is a teacher of pharmacology not a teacher of cosmetics or any other subject so it is necessary to work as same as the signal molecule and the result should be in a maximum value so coming to the next point as they explain you better it binds to the receptor and produce maximal biological response let me clear you this line first what is the meaning of maximal biological response if i am myself that is this is pushpendra patel i am going to take a class of pharmacology however whatever i will teach will be the same if anyone is having same quality of pharmacology then he or she will produce same effect same result same satisfaction in students mind that is called maximal effect it is it will be not kind of formality he will also teach he she will also teach as i used to teach earlier in the classes so this is called maximal up to its maximum level response now next point say that mimic to the endogenous ligand that will be a uh, same as like the original one that is called mimicking mimicking means try to duplicate it try to replicate it try to do as same as the other one that is called mimicking activity now next is full agonist sometime agonist or also written as a full agonist and if it is not written as a full that should be considered as a agonist only because in case of partial agonist that will be a partial word in case of inverse agonist there will be a inverse agonist but it is not necessary always to written as a full agonist if it is regonist then you have to consider it as a full agonist so what is a full agonist full agonist ya only agonist binds to the receptor stabilize it and activate the state full agonist will go to the receptor site bind to its binding site make it stable make it sustain make it favorable and then will produce its active state and the producing effect will be e max that is effect at its maximum level whatever we have desired will be given by the particular signal molecule uh, in this case of agonist that will be produce same effect as original signal or ligand molecule we are used to give so the effect will be same like its ligand molecule i have shown you now what is ligand actually ligand is a substance which occupy the receptor binding site and produce a biological response by producing or by forming a complex so this is ligand molecule now we have to take some example so that you will get better i have given you the example of myself apart from that example let's consider a physiological example the phenyl epinephrine is full agonist at alpha 1 adrenal receptor now it is very new for you what is alpha 1 what is alpha 2 what is adrenal receptor just forget about this just listen this example i will explain you in upcoming example upcoming topic because that will be a part of your syllabus only so so phenylephrine is full agonist at alpha 1 adrenal receptor and because it produce same maximum response as non epinephrine will produce that means the non epinephrine is biological or main natural signal molecule or ligand molecule that produce any effect let me clear you this is effect as a x effect so this non epinephrine is producing x effect but in case of absence of non epinephrine we are giving phenylephrine then that will also produce the same x effect because this is a agonist of that particular non epinephrine at alpha 1 receptor binding site so that will produce same effect as this original one now what are the effect now let me clear what is the meaning of x here so see effect of both means phenylephrine or norepinephrine the effect of both will be same as they will that means both both will do the same thing that both will increase the intracellular calcium level the both drug will increase the level of calcium inside the cell that is called intracellular calcium level and what will happen if the intracellular level of calcium will increase they will increase the interaction of actin and myosin filament you have studied it about the actin myosin in your previous classes like first second semester so you know it very well i am not going to explain this pathology or physiology so apart from this two action the result will be converted into increase in the resistance in blood flow so if there is a resistance in the flow of blood obviously there will be increase in the blood pressure so resistance in blood flow will increase or will result into increase in blood pressure and that will be the conditions so if normal nor epinephrine is producing this kind of effect and finally result into increase in blood pressure so in the case of absence of norepinephrine if we, if we are giving phenylephrine 
then that will produce the same effect. So this is agonist for norepinephrine. Now coming to the explanation point of view, diagrammatic point of view, I have to explain this thing, same thing twice. So this is uh, our receptor, but this is empty. No such drug, no such ligand molecule has been occupied over that receptor. So this is empty receptor. This will be of no use. They will not produce any kind of biological or pharmacological response. And this is ligand or drug. You can consider it as a ligand also. You can consider it as a drug in case of agonist also. So if it is alone, not occupied inside the receptor or not binded to the receptor, that will also be of no use. But in this case, let me assume that receptor uh, is going to be occupied by this drug. So this drug is moving toward the receptor and finally it takes place. So that will be converted into a drug receptor complex. This is complex formation and that will produce its desirable or whatever pharmacological effect. That will produce its effect only. After some time, it is not permanent activity. It is not permanent phenomena. It is short term phenomena. After some time, that will leave the receptor and become eliminated or excreted or unoccupied, I must say. So again, it will convert it into this step. So this is a bi-directional step where it may go to the binding site and it may also release from the binding site. So whenever they will occupied by the receptor they will be formation of drug receptor complex then only we will get a action or biological response but in this case suppose let me explain you with respect to the agonist so this is ligand molecule a drug molecule now this is agonist so agonist will also bind with the respective binding site and produce same biological response so there is a no difference between a ligand molecule or signal molecule and the agonist molecule they will produce same effect and the effect can be converted into any form like in this example as you can see in the first case the diameter of blood vessel is little bit higher and after some time after this conversion of intracellular accumulation of calcium resistance or actin myopsin that will be converted into constriction and that will lead to increase in bp so this was simple explanation regarding agonist in upcoming video i am going to explain this with the help of a representative diagram more so please be with us please be with the solution pharmacy as well as pharmacy dictionary that's all for today. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you want to take the screenshot of this lecture, you may have after some time. And the reference for today's topic is Lippincourt Latest Edition Southeast Edition. Thank you very much again.